What is up you guys? Welcome, Carl welcomes you as well, to an updated Halloween fall house tour. So at this time of night, the sun is just setting. It is 5.45 here and we've got hollow wishes going. We're about to make a margarita and I'm gonna take you through all of our decorations and I will actually start with the front step outside and I'll take you in the backyard as well and everything. So if that's something you wanna see, then just keep it. All right, so this time of year is super peaceful and like look at this sunset, how beautiful. Like the sun is just setting on the leaves. Look at how bright colored everything is. Like no filter, so pretty. We've got like the brightest colored trees around the house. Okay, so you can see right in the front, this is actually my office here with the light on. So I'm gonna take you in there. This is the front step situation with all of the corn and pumpkins and squash that have been eaten by the squirrel buffet. <laughs> if you didn't see that video, go check it out. I'll link it down below. So I shared all of the decorations that I put out here and I really wanted to make it like a, a fall festival type of vibe and I'm about to switch out this doormat for another one. I've got my fall flowers in the front planter. I'm actually going to light this up. So this is actually like a clear type of resin container. So I'm going to light that up from the bottom and I'm going to light that as well. So then coming inside, let's take a bet if Carl's here. Yeah, he is. You are predictable little man. So in the front entrance, not much has changed except for a very cute Halloween pillow. Ray Dunn pillow and then I've got my little restoration hardware bench and then we've lit the candles and around this time of year I always have this burlap table runner with some cute little harvesty pumpkins and these candles stay on all year round so let's start with the bar cart because I love the bar cart I think I just walked walked through some cobwebs. All right, so this is new as of this year. I had these branches last year with some fairy lights in them, but this Venus flytrap is next level amazing. I usually switch out the alcohol containers to be a little bit more spooky and a little bit more vibey. I've got these little eyes. These aren't actually new, they're by Chic and Tonic. And then my little peace sign hand. I will try and link as much as I can down below. This is from a store called Grand and Road. He's pretty heavy, but also pretty expensive. And there's a cheaper version at Michael's. I think they come in a pack of three. This mug, I don't use it because it's just so perfect and so pretty. And then these candles are new from this year as well as little candle holders. So these are from Michael's as well. I'm sorry, can I help you? Do you want to be in the shot? He's licking my foot. What do you need? You already had your video. Your video happened. You had your moment, we're done now, okay? <laughs> he loves the spotlight. So in here, I've got a couple of new little cups. The whipped toppings, I will link them down below. I have a couple of them, the Sanderson sisters, little sign back there, the Ray Dunn cauldron, absolutely love that. This is a special edition Trader Sam's mug. Love that, and if you didn't see my cocktail video yet, you need to check that out, because that was epic. And then down here, I've just got like a skull tray and my margarita glasses, and then I have a trick-or-treat bowl with some black succulents in there. And then going into here, I have the Disney pillow that I got this year. I got these from Michaels this year as well. They're very like Morticia Adams, I love them. And I put them in some apothecary jars that were also very like witchy and Halloween-y. I had this last year from HomeSense, like a glass pumpkin. And then you guys, I got the mummy. So if you saw my summer, end of summer morning routine, I mentioned this guy at the end and I was like, I regret not getting him. This was sent to me by a very dear friend, Kelly. Thank you so much. She actually went out and got him and shipped him to me. His name is Marvin and he's fabulous. So in here I have a little matte black pumpkin with some candy. We literally have candy all over the house. And then a little Venus flytrap. And then I have another Hocus Pocus mug in a dome. And then in here, this year we put all of Carl's toys in this bin and he has a lot of Halloween toys. He loves the snake like so cute and shout out to one of our subscribers that sent me a message and she said that her little boy wanted the snake so bad because it was featured in the video and then carl had it see he's here again there's nothing i can do he's a star so i've got a bunch of squishmallows in the egg chair love the squishmallows carl loves the squishmallows as well and then i've got the fireplace going and then the mantle is kind of similar to last year i added a little bit more to it so i hook the cobwebs to the top of the tv and then into the mantle. So this mantle, we actually hung it ourselves. It's like a huge piece of, I believe it's elm wood. Amazing. Got these fake candles going. These are the same as the orange ones. The bottom just twists on. And then this is the same as the peace sign. And then I had these extra ropes from last year. They were actually off of a laundry basket. So I cut them off and it kind of looks like 
a little bit like a noose, like a little bit witchy vibes, right? And then I've got the Jack Skellington. I also got these bleeding candles this year. So these are all featured in previous videos of like decorate with me's and hauls. This is a Billy Butcherson <laughs> Hocus Pocus tombstone. So good. And then I have this skeleton hand kind of reaching from the underneath there. And then all these little fake candles. I loved the eye. It kind of reminded me of the book in Hocus Pocus. And then same with the black candles, like the black flame candles. And then more, you guys, I really, I was really into the Venus fly traps this year. Love it. And then I got that deadly nightshade bottle. I got that from Spirit Halloween. They had a couple good finds. And then I just have a matte black candle here and then a little dome candle there from confectionery. Anytime I talk about confectionery, it's confectionery soaps co. It's like the only candles that I pretty much use anymore. And then in here I have a fake candle. Don't put that too close to the fireplace because uh, I learned that the hard way. So let's go out into the back balcony. I'm gonna try and show you guys stuff that you never see before. So this is the doormat that is going to go out on the front porch like right after I'm done with this because we're gonna switch from fall to Halloween. Like less harvesty, more fall, more Halloween. Less harvesty, more Halloween. Okay, so we've put away our furniture. Andre's going to tarp this up. This is usually all here. I had my inflatable pool out here all summer and this is the progress so far on the backyard. So we are going to, once this is backfilled, so that lot needs to be backfilled before we do anything else. Once that's backfilled, we're gonna have our other side of the fence and then we're gonna have a deck that goes all around the hot tub. And we just went in that hot tub and it was phenomenal, but look at how pretty the leaves are back here. I love it. Love, love, love. Okay. And then back here, we've just got our barbecue. Carl's gonna come join me. Come on, buddy. Favorite features of the house. I love it. So this was like on my dream board before we got the house to have that in the staircase. And then we've got a little chandelier at the top there. I'm trying to show you different angles that you might not have seen before. In the living room, I did a couple decorate with me's for this, but the coffee table, I wanted to have like a little wagon type of thing with like a little mini bale of hay, kind of similar to the outside area. And then I got this Disney Mickey pumpkin. How cute. And then I've got a pumpkin pie confectionery candle going in here. And then I've got the not so scary pillow and a Jack Skellington pillow over there. And then I've got a pumpkin spice latte candle and a ghost Mickey candle going. So this is like the whole vibe of the living room. It's very cozy, very comfy. And then I haven't really shared this. We need to talk about this. I got this on a whim at a home sense and I love it. And the glitter in it is black glitter with some little Halloween gnomes. How cute, right? And then here I've got my little ghost pillow the official not so scary blanket which i'm obsessed with and the this is halloween pillow which like these are so freaking i love them i love them i actually use them all the time and then i've got this little broom that i say it every time but i really wish it was like a roomba like a little vacuum it's not it just moves around like it's like a magic dancing broom super cute carl's got his little bed with his scary teddy in there if you saw carl's reel that i did on my instagram it's the cutest freaking thing of my life if you saw it comment down below it's honestly adorable so down here i just have like a chaotic amount of little pumpkins with some fairy lights. And then here I have my DIY little toxic poison and arsenic teacups. So these all peel off. I put those on myself and then usually they say, <laughs> not any better, right? <laughs> some alcohol on the other side. So the other side is permanent. And then on here, I've got those same little cat eyeballs. And then this skeleton hand that's holding the martini glass, I'm pretty sure I got that off of Amazon last year. All right, so from there, coming back around to the bar cart and then into the kitchen. So this kitchen area I've got, this always ends up happening every Halloween. I just end up with an abundance of candy, but Andre helps me out. So he usually will eat, where's the gummies? Oh, they're over there. I was like, did he already eat them? So in here, I've got the cozy cabin candle going from confectionery. Earlier today, I had churros going. So they have like Disney inspired candles as well as like the best fall. And oh my gosh, the holiday candles are gonna be the best. How perfect is this poison apple? I don't even wanna touch it. It's real, but listen, it's only gonna last for so long. So pretty. And then I got these like rattlesnake candies or some jawbreaker candies in there, chocolates, all sorts of stuff. I got these for my cocktail video at Michael's. So fun and so therapeutic. Listen, oh my gosh, and how cute are these? They kind of remind me of like Flotsam and Jetsam. I, I just thought they were so cute. 
like the poor unfortunate souls actually that's what they remind me of and then on here i've got some white pumpkin soap and hand cream from confectionery the poison apple and then in here i have some oils burning you guessed it from confectionery in here i really need to put some fairy lights but you get the idea so usually there's lemons in there i just filled it with candy and some black and white pumpkins and this year we went a little bit crazy with the th tiered tray so in a decorate with me i shared all of this already but there is literally three setups. So this is not a tiered tray, but still nonetheless a tray. So I wanted to do like a fall harvest pumpkin area. So I've got this little pumpkin patch container, these two mugs from the Not So Scary collection. These are the whip toppers that I was telling you about. Like amazing, I will link them down below. My little DIY project, in case you didn't hear, I DIY'd this KitchenAid. I painted it, it used to be baby pink and I did not love it. By the way, I found a matte black container. It's on its way if it ever decides to arrive. It's gonna be so pretty though whenever it shows up. And then my soup container, I never use it. It's just really pretty as decoration, I love it there. And then I've got our new kettle, which we use every single day, and then our little tiered tray area. So this is like the orange and black tiered tray there, so the gummy candies that I was looking for. So Andre's definitely made a dent in those. And then this is our front balcony. Oh, I forgot about Carl. <laughs> Buddy, what happened? At least it's not cold out. Carl, what happened? Did someone forget about you? Do you wanna go on the front balcony? Okay, we go on the front balcony now and I'll forget you out there too. Okay, come on. All right, so as we're going through here, I'll show you, this is Carl's little eatery nook. So he has a little Ray Dunn bowl here and then I just hung this little witch's brew, little dish towel. Do you wanna go outside? Come, come this way. Just don't start barking, okay? He thinks that whenever I open this that someone is coming. Okay, can you sit? Can you sit? Can you sit? Sit. See, so he goes out there with a vengeance. Carl, this isn't your video. You're kind of making it about you. Okay, have fun. Try not to forget you out there. All right, so this is the little coffee nook area. Same thing, there's some little cute toppers, some whip toppers, Disney mugs. I love the little dangling leg guys. So freaking adorable. And then up here, I've got a Hocus Pocus sign with a couple mugs on either side and some felt pumpkins, my coffee machine, and then I have this little Ray Dunn tray. This is usually filled with candy, this too. Yeah, we're gonna fill these with candy. We're gonna, we're gonna set ourselves up. And then I got these cute little jars of candy at HomeSense as well. Oh, and there's some Ray Dunn plates under here, which we use for like, if we're just doing a sharing plate. So cute, okay. So that's pretty much the entire kitchen setup to give you an idea. I'm gonna take you into my office and show you the decorations in there too. What are you doing? Come on, come this way. All right, so on the way to my office, there is the powder room. So in here I have these like black sticks that I set up. I got these at Michael's in the floral department. And then I have this Hocus Pocus little candy type of bag that actually lights up. So it's cute whenever everything's in the dark. And in here, this candle smells so good. So this is called the Boo To You candle from Confectionery and there's like glitter and everything. So good, it smells like candy. And then I've got the little mummy scent. What do you call those? Wallflower, yeah. And then some Halloween soaps. And then under here, I've got a little ghost. A little light up ghost under there. And then this guy is gonna come upstairs by the tub. All right, and then coming into my office, I just got this pillow in black and in pink. They're from Michaels. They're considered Halloween pillows. They're not, I think they're so they're so freaking cute. Love the vibe of them with the tassels. These are the other pillows from the Not So Scary. I've got little baby Yoda with me. And then these are all of the videos mapped out for the end of the month. If you didn't see my plan with me video, that is all mentioned in there. I've got a little ghost pillow, my tripod for when I'm filming, which is every single day. And then this year I kind of decorated a little bit more in here. So I hung this Hocus Pocus little banner. I've got my mouse ears since, listen, I need to be able to have them out at some point. I've got my popcorn bucket and all these little glitter pumpkins all over the place. These are popcorn buckets that I got at the theater last year. Love Vanellope. Carl's little artwork, because he's a star. Got another little mummy back there. So cute. Oh, and then another pair of ears up here from Ears Ever After. And then these ears are so freaking cute also. I'll link everything that I can down below. 
And then on here, I have all of my notebooks and my planners and everything. I have my little pumpkin pencil holder. All of the regular pillows are down there, and this is usually where Carl sets up. And then I've got my pre-workout here. So that is the setup for my office currently. So my slippers are still down here because we literally just went in the hot tub, but this is the gym. A couple of updates, really, like we've been working out at home forever, but especially this year, and Andre's had his trainers come. So he has a boxing trainer that comes to the house every once in a while. And then he has his personal trainer that comes. I moved my Peloton bike to the back corner. It used to be here for a while. I feel like the setup we have right now is really good because just way more room to move around, way more room for activities. All right, and then in the backyard, there's the most amount of updates. Okay, so what's changed out here is everything. <laughs> so we don't have the door back there anymore. We also don't have the lot next door that used to be a big pool. They're fully under construction next door. So back here, we've got the hot tub and it officially works. It's just cold. But look, there's steam and everything set it to like a hundred and some degrees oh yeah we are in business oh my gosh it smells so good i love the smell of chlorine look who it is Alrighty, so once you come up once you're up the stairs got carl up here so this is Carl's washroom, this is my filming room, and then this is Andre's office. So I will show you in here. I've still got all of my makeup out from this morning. I put up a witch's brew cauldron up there. There isn't much decorations in here. I've got the little Mickey pumpkin DIY from last year. If you wanna see that video, it's like a little DIY that I did. Super cute. And going into our bedroom, this is the laundry room in here. And then in our bedroom, I've got like a little pumpkin spice set up with the same Sherpa blanket as the not so scary, super comfy, cozy, some matching pillows and the morning pumpkin pillow is from Michael's. And then next to the bed, I've got some spooky books that I'm reading right now. And then I've got my Hocus Pocus tumbler. And then on the other side, there's not really any decorations. And then down here, I've got a little felt pumpkin as well as my Mickey. And then I have the fan, which I use even in the fall months. And then in here, I've got Haunted Holiday burning, which smells so good. And then a couple of little felt pumpkins. And then from here, going into the closet, I've set that up, this up for the fall. It's particularly useful for whenever we're traveling. So we are going to go on a little staycation. So I'm gonna start packing and kind of set things up on this little side rack. And then I've got some Ray Dunn little laundry bins down here. And then this year I set up the bar cart so right now I have a club 33 candle going which smells literally like champagne so good and then I did a couple little DIYs this year which was in a decorate with me some powdered bones I've got a little hocus pocus tray with some jewelry on there matte black pumpkin a pumpkin crunch berry body spray and then I've got this candle smells so good it's a perfect autumn candle from Bath and Body Works and then a little Jack Skellington succulent and a Ray Dunn candle as well and then in the middle here, I've got a big quilted pumpkin with a little Jack Skellington little decor. And then I've got my Mickey backpack in there with a bunch of pumpkin spice creams and stuff. I'm thinking about using this for the nighttime routine video so that we can all experience it together. So these are like glow in the dark bath salts. I'm so excited. Vanilla lime and white tea ginger. Cosmic surge. 4D bath experience. We shall experience it together. So I already did a full closet tour, so I can link that down below if you want to see like a more in-depth version. I've got some little pillows and decorations on the side here on the bench. And then I have my little spooky ghost flats, which go super well. And then this area I've kind of redone it. So this is like my skincare little area. So I've got all my drawers in here with like skincare, any hair stuff and things like that. And then on this little tray, I have some body oils so i've got so, like these are so you have to shake them really really well but they're so pretty so like these glittery bath oils so hocus pocus black magic and witch's brew and then i've got a jack in the woods body scrub and then some little mickey bath bombs mickey and mini bath bombs and then i've got a little candle going from the disney store and then here is my dyson air wrap and then i've got my little watch sonos player and then a little 
pumpkin candle. And then going into our ensuite, I've already taken these out because I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing for my bath tonight. It's like a whole thing. There's so much to choose from. So I've got these like glitter, look how glittery these are. Black Magic Hocus Pocus. This one smells amazing. Oogie Boogie takes a bath. And then I've got some soaps out. So there isn't really much decor in here other than the bath mat and then all of my bath products. So I think you've seen this before, but this is a bubble bar that I kind of chopped up and I put in here and then my pumpkin crunch berry shaving soap and whipped sugar scrub. And then I've got a candy corn kisses bubble bath. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the fall slash Halloween house tour. If you guys did enjoy this and if there's anything else that you wanna see or any questions you have, definitely comment down below. If you liked it, Carl's a part of this, definitely give it a thumbs up. Carl's tuckered out, do you wanna say hello? Do you want to say hello? You guys can follow Carl on Instagram and go check out his video that went up. Are you over it? Make sure that you guys are subscribed so you don't miss any future videos and make sure that you're following along on Instagram for all the behind the scenes and I will see you tomorrow. Bye dudes.